We live in a society exquisitely dependent on science and technology. However, its presence and impact on our society are overlooked and taken for granted, especially in middle school. I'm Umar Patel, an eighth grader from South San Francisco, California. That's from a paper I wrote about my experience as a contestant in the Helix Cup. The Helix Cup is a four-part science contest among all the eighth grade students in South San Francisco. This isn't just the story of the kids that won, though we're all very proud of the winners. This is also the story of expanding our access to science education and learning that science is about more than formulas in a textbook and homework. It's early enough to catch them. Like, they need to be taught that they're not bad at science now. 45 minutes to complete your bridge, okay? The coaches will be around here and to help you out, okay? Help you, uh, coach you through building um, and to give you tips and advice. They're not gonna build it for you, obviously. Keep in mind that when I say stop, you have to stop building. You guys have 45 minutes starting now. Okay? For South San Francisco students, the Bay is something we see every day. So for the first Helix Cup Challenge, what better way to encourage scientific exploration than by literally building bridges? Across the district, students were using everyday stuff to build a bridge with the best strength to weight ratio. The test was to see how much weight the bridges could support without collapsing. In addition to dealing with the physical forces of load, tension, and compression, each team had to collaborate to solve the problems presented by the challenge. This is great. We're making another one. We just I'm worried about the base, okay? You, you have to think about it. This is so pretty and it's nice, however, you don't have much time, okay? We all play the flute. We're all in advanced math. We're taking ninth grade math, which is geometry. We're all really, really funny together. Um, we all like Kool-Aid. <laughs> my name's Lupita. My name is Sochi. And my name's Yvette. Parkway is like, there's just so many different people here. It's like a mixture of everyone and you just get to know one another. I'm a good student, but at the same time, I, get, I can get really, really irritated. What irritates you? Teachers that talk and talk and talk and talk. <laughs> I try to keep my class lab heavy, hands-on heavy. Otherwise, science just becomes, for the kids anyway, just taking notes and reading out of a book. I don't care if we win, I just care that we tried our hardest. These are supposed to hold up the base of the bridge, and so when this will go down, these will collapse, help, hopefully supporting the base. And that's what science is, is being able to get dirty, get your hands into what we're doing, at an age like middle school, the kids need that. Many of our students come from non-English backgrounds. They're mostly come from immigrant families. A big challenge for us is to motivate these students. They succeed in labs. They succeed in doing hands-on activities where there's a goal in mind. You have to make something or make something happen. One minute. <laughs> Done. Wait, should we put one more straw right here? Six inches. Three, two. One. Okay, drop your materials. I'm sorry. Woo! All right. And then we're gonna test your strength to weight ratio. How much weight your bridge can hold divided by the weight of your bridge. Is that little? Yeah. All right. Ready? Oh, oh, it happens. It happens. Now it happens. It it, it, it's, right. it's out of our hands now, one at yeah. a time. I'm not ready to fall yet. Oh, wow! <laughs> That's amazing! Students from all three schools learned the challenge of taking an idea from the page into the real world. The scores from the first round were tallied, and even though every team advanced to the second round, only 10 teams would make it to the finals. 
held on the Genentech campus. Students eagerly anticipated the second challenge, where they'd get a chance to build an airdrop container and maybe even break some stuff. Next up, the egg drop.